So they're going to be arriving in about. <laughs>
We feel that it is an honor to be able to carry the torch of hope. In the city of Bathurst, we are carrying it in memory of Nick de Grasse, whose family graciously donated his organs. Incredible. He's, he gets power. Uh, he, he says it's the torch <laughs> that gives him the power. But who? Yes? It's our school break time right now. Okay. So that's why we were waiting at the... It had to be the 11-ish. Oh, so we're early, right? We're, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, Rogers uh, wants to see your stomach. Huh? What well, Rogers wants to see your stomach. Carrying the torch with a police escort, and uh, you're going to be part of the entourage. Okay, cool. Okay. They're right there. It's raining. Start with the slow. Start the emotion. became a quite a while. And Marcelo came home to meet our family, so after that we had a very close contact and every time that he is coming in New Brunswick, I'm very pleased to work with him. So that's the reason why we are here this morning, to support George Marcelo for, for all the, 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 the work he is doing around the whole country. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Over 100 students are relaying the torch of life across Canada to promote organ and tissue donation. Today, we are honored to say that the torch of life is coming to Bathurst time and will be carried in memory of Yannick de Grasse and Rory Kempster. After my uh, walk across Canada and carrying the torch and uh, I guess gone through many, many prayers and met a lot of people, um, after that I ended up becoming healthy. And And we will continue carrying it in his memory. Great, great, thank you. You guys can come on Monday.
Yep. Yes. So are we it's going? actually at two o'clock in the afternoon. Is that going to be a